Yesterday was the first day of Black History Month, and all month long we'll be highlighting the ways members of our community are honoring the triumphs and struggles of African Americans throughout history. Well, tomorrow night a concert is happening right here in town that pays tribute to the spirit and richness of black music in America. It is called Lift Every Voice, and this year the maestro behind it all just so happens to have conducted the score to the most Oscar-nominated movie of the year. We're talking about Oppenheimer. Daisy is live with him now, and Daisy, we hear this is going to be a busy morning. Hey, Heather and David. Yes, at about 10 o'clock, rehearsals will begin, so this place will be flooded with all of the wonderful Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra members because, of course, like you mentioned, Lift Every Voice will be happening tomorrow. I'm actually here with the wonderful, as you mentioned, maestro himself, Anthony. Anthony, it is so cool to have you here in Pittsburgh, so thank you for joining us. It's a real pleasure to be here. I grew up on recordings of the great Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, and this is my debut appearance, and I'm very excited. How very special is that? Well, first of all, let's get into the concert. Please tell us, I, I know that there's some very special guests that'll be part of this. Yeah, what's really special for me is getting the opportunity to work with one of my childhood musical heroes, Miss Alita Adams, mm. who'll be coming here, and she'll be doing everything from Circle of One, which of course is probably what she's most known for, to Holy as the Lamb, mm. and we'll be combining her talents with the Lift Every Voice Unity Choir, the direction of Nikki Porter. There's a little bit of something for everybody to enjoy and grasp onto tomorrow night. Yeah, and Lift Every Voice is considered the Black National anthem so how special is that especially now that we're entering black history month to be performing that or conducting for that absolutely song. well i mean obviously it's an anthem that i grew up with yeah. uh, i went to you know thomas Rowe baptist church and uh you know something that we sung every single morning you know every single sunday yeah. you know um so it's um it's it's a wonderful this whole concert is a really great compendium of the black experience through very many lenses and we'll even have a trombone concerto played by one of our pittsburgh symphony fellows oh. cooper Cromwell Whitley, so we're very excited to feature him on an exciting work for trombone and strings. Oh, well, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing concert, but of course, you are going to be the maestro of it all, conducting this beautiful concert. And what's really amazing that, you know, we briefly touched upon it, but you've actually had some extremely great success. Congratulations, you know, on being part of Oppenheimer as well as Indiana Jones being nominated. And you've, con you know, you conducted the Oppenheimer score, score but also played the bassoon and the what was the other instrument? The contrabassoon, yes, yes. Yes, and I love the story about how you even started playing the bassoon. Can you talk about that? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Virginia, and I really wanted to go to the theme park, King's Dominion. Uh -huh. And um, I was sitting in my eighth grade math class when all of a sudden I heard what all the students report to their bus for their trip to King's Dominion. And I noticed that everybody grabbed instruments and bound out the door, leaving me behind. So my mm. plot was if I joined the band, I could go to King's Dominion. So I looked in the A section of the dictionary, and I saw the accord and I, it reminded me of Lawrence Welk, for those of you who remember yeah. Lawrence Welk. And I thought that it was a little nerdy for me. So I turned to the B section of the dictionary, saw the bassoon, not realizing that it possibly was the only instrument nerdier <laughs> than the accordion, and I picked it. And ever since then, I've still not been to King's Dominion, but it's been a wonderful oh, ride. Oh, hey, but, but you've been able to do some amazing, amazing things. Now, I would love to know what else you play other than the bassoon? Oh, I know you sing too, right? Because you have this beautiful, amazing voice. I'm a semi-retired opera singer yeah. in addition to anything. My old mentor used to say, Anthony, anything to keep the lights on. Yeah, hey, that's awesome. Now, speaking of keeping the lights on, right now your, your biggest job is to be the conductor of this show. So would you mind showing me a little something as to, you know, Absolutely. some tips? I know that whenever I was in choir, I had some very, very, you know, enthusiastic, uh, you know, conductors that would tell us all sorts of things, but I would love to see if you can Absolutely. explain to me, how do you, I mean, when you're in front of all these people, how do you get them all to just be on the same page? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to welcome the orchestra. So you start left to right and welcome everybody. Welcome and everybody. then it's very easy. You take a breath and give. And just give. And just give. Now, now I know that you, you pretty much give a show because, of course, this is such a powerful thing. But I can just imagine, you know, is this like when you want a crescendo and I, I don't see, know. I don't know. Time. I'm just. <laughs> Absolutely. It's very simple. Crescendo, you give more. Yeah. And then decrescendo, you give less. And, then and then if you want something to be loud, you know, you do it with strength. Very if you want good. something to be short. 
you know, just use the wrists. So it's, it's actually pretty simple. I love it so much. Well, I'll leave it up to you. I mean, you are definitely, you know, the expert here and you guys have a rehearsal. So we'll, we'll be letting you go shortly. But thank you so much for your time, everybody. Lift Every Voice is going to be such an amazing opportunity. Be sure to check it out. And happy Black History Month, everybody. Oh, it's going to be back to you guys at the it. studio. Love it, Daisy. I do feel like David gives me some of these sometimes. <laughs> no, no, I'm doing this. More crescendo, more crescendo, Heather. Are you sure? Because I feel like sometimes I get a... Less is more, Heather. Less is more. <laughs> All right. Well, Oppenheimer conductor. Oh, what an amazing voice he has, too. Anthony Parnther will conduct the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra at Heinz Hall. It's tomorrow night for the Lift Every Voice concert. A ton of special guests and experiences will be there, too. We've got all the information on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.